Hi, I'm Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to create an animated GIF. Let's go to our computer and we're going to use a program called GIMP to do this. Just open up your web browser and go to GIMP.org if you don't already have it. And then click on Downloads. And then you want to download GIMP 2.6.6 for Windows. Now GIMP is an image editing program that's just as advanced as other, uh, it's free, and it's just as advanced as other programs that are in the market. Now let's open up GIMP. I have it already installed. And it'll take a little bit of time to launch the first time you launch it, but after that it comes right up. So let's create a new file by going to File and clicking New. I'm going to make this uh, 200 by 200. I'm going to click OK. That's 200 uh, in pixels. Now I have to have my layers displaying, so let's go to the Windows tab, uh, menu item, and under Dockable Dialogs, let's click on Layers. We're going to create layers in this application, and each layer is going to be one frame of the animation. So let's get a little pencil. I'm just going to put a big H here, and I'm just going to say, hello, like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer for the second frame by right-clicking in my layers area and clicking new layer. Now I want the background of my layer to be white, so I'm going to click OK. And you can show and hide layers by clicking the little eyeballs that are next to each one of them. So I'm going to only show my second layer. And now I'm going to type, or just draw, there. So our message is going to be, hello, there. Now, how do we make this an animation? We have two frames, one that says, hello, and one that says, there. The way to make this an animation is to put a timing for each layer in the name of the layer in parentheses. So for instance on background, let's double click on it. And we want that to be 1000 milliseconds. It does that in uh, milliseconds every time. And that's in parentheses. I'm going to have it 1000 milliseconds, which would be one second for each time. Let's go to the filters tab and then animation, playback, and click play. As you can see, our animation is now playing. Now let's save this as a GIF file by going to File, Save As. And on our desktop, I'm just going to call it test.gif and click Save. I'm going to replace the one that's already there. And I have to check Save as Animation and Export. Now click Save. And our GIF file has just been created. If I open that up in a web browser, you'll see the animation. I'm Dave Andrews, and I've just showed you how to create an animated GIF.